Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? <laughs> my name is Dalton. This is Dalton, my world. And this is going to be a quick and dirty uh, reaction video. And uh, <laughs> I saw, I think I saw this about four months ago, and I just loved it. All right, I just loved it. So let's do this. <laughs> what's going on right here, man? New video at 11, a crazy encounter on I-85, a man caught on camera hitching a ride on an 18-wheeler. The, the shirtless thrill seeker seen clutching the side view mirror with one hand and a smoke in the other. CBS 46's Alan Devlin talked to drivers who saw it happen, and he joins us live. Alan. One hand and Absolutely. the smoke in That guy on the side of that semi-truck, one just like this one, going down 85, I'll tell you, he took his seat right on the side, had one hand up on the mirror, good, confident hand grip, and even me doing this right now, it's I difficult. Really can't even do it. He was doing it as the 18-wheeler <laughs> was going down the highway. That was a little hard car, boy. I'll tell you what's going on right here, man. It's this not what you normally salt. see going down 85 South. What the hell going on right here, man? A shirtless man in a do-rag, smoking something, confidently gripping the outside of a semi-truck as it rolls down the highway. Smoking... Wait. Going Something. On right here, man. But his joyride didn't stop there. Another video, this time taken in Gwinnett, shows what appears to be the same man on a different truck. The witness who shot the video told CBS 46, I just shook my head. The things I see go on in Atlanta does not surprise me. But the crazy weekend antics continued. And somebody on the back of that bus. I was like, what is that? Something on that bus does not belong. <laughs> A video shot in Big Head the same day shows another yeah. man straddling the back of a motor bus headed down Lindsay Street. It looked like he was just having a free ride. Uh, you don't have to be bit by no spider. On, he rode for a good distance. <laughs> Marta released a statement in response to a CBS 46 inquiry about the incident, saying in part, Marta discourages this type of behavior because not only is it extremely God, dangerous, soul, it's illegal. Marta police detectives do. will review any available footage to see if they can identify the person possibly file charges i've never seen anything like this this is crazy i was like only in atlanta you know please something. gonna be like well i'm just going hard to find them man they all look alike <laughs> oh man Oh, man. I feel for the brother, personally. I feel for the brother, for real, because straight up, y'all y'all know, um, he probably just came out for work. And there's, uh, there's jobs called day labor. A lot of people in society don't know about it. Uh, and really, there, it's almost like legalized slavery, okay? Um, you work that day, you get paid that day. And, you know, they're doing stuff like digging ditches. Uh, and it's, it's not, I went to one once to check it out. And it's not what you think. I mean, you, like you got people who are uh, out of jail, can't find a job. Maybe they got a place to stay, but they have no money. And they don't want to get back, put back into, you know, uh, the pit. They don't want to get put back into jail. You know, they're really trying, so... But they need money. And a lot of them would do day labor. Okay? And it's almost... Day labor is almost like working at McDonald's sometimes. Like legalized slavery. You know, you do the hardest work with the least amount of money. And I, those jobs are not a joke. I had to do some of them types of jobs. But it was with the temporary service. And, you know... They expect you to get there and expect you to get home on your own, okay? You just, you know, you're a warm body that they need to do a job, okay? <laughs> you know, you probably he probably just got off work. He probably got, you know, and like, like by, but what Malcolm X said, by any means necessary, got to get home. You got to get home. And that just reminds me when I was younger, there was a song by Prince. And it, and it was on the B side of his album of of his record, right? And it was called P. I'm not gonna say the word, but P Power. And you know what I'm talking about. If you you know if you're a straight man, you're in the women. You know, you know what P stands for. P 
pee power. And it was talking about how women have that pee power on you, you know, that taco power on you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they do, they get you to do anything, you know. They get you on that phone, they be talking about sitting here in this chair. Uh huh, baby. See things my way. Can't you see? I just want to get next to you. Uh, okay, baby, I'll be there. It'll give me about 30 minutes. I got to catch that semi. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I Pick up some condoms, you know. Maybe get some cheap wine on the way, you know. I'll be there. <laughs> Before the time up. He was smoking something. <laughs> First reporter said a cigarette. Second, second reporter knew exactly what he was smoking. That's why they said that second reporter knew exactly what he was smoking. He was like, you're smoking something. <laughs> it's like, yeah, come on, man. You know he was smoking. He had a hard day. He was going, I don't do that stuff. I'm just saying. And I am not saying that y'all should do that, try to ride like that. I'm just saying. That's just human nature. If it's... You really want to get something done or to get somewhere, you're going to find a way, okay? If it's in your heart of hearts and you have that ability, you're going to find a way by any means necessary, okay? Now, I'm not saying you should break the law or nothing like that, but I'm just showing you, you know? That's part of the aspect of how the strong survive. You know, they're, you know, they're willing to do what it takes to do, Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and what I like about it too is like it wasn't he wasn't ashamed. He understood his circumstances. He, you know, he you know, he probably made his money, he's going home. Okay, he wasn't ashamed how he didn't care how people looking at him trying to laugh at him, make fun of him, nothing like he didn't care. Okay, he's been through hell and back. And what you and I think of him don't matter. Okay, and sometimes that's the attitude that you need to take. Uh, when you're doing something, working on something, okay? I'm not saying break the law. I'm saying you got to take what you care less what people think. You got to stay focused. You know what I'm saying? They let them take, say what they want to say, be funky, whatever. It don't matter, man. By any means necessary, get it done, baby. Boom. Anyway, that was my reaction video, one of my reaction videos. Hope y'all like it. Uh, subscribe, share, comment below. Y'all know what to do. Peace out.